Australia, a continent known for the Sydney Opera House, its kangaroos, its beaches, and the outback. Its vast size makes it the sixth biggest country, and it is one of the least populated countries on the planet. However, one fact that may not be well known is that we recently started our own space agency. What does Australia's space agency look like, and what are its plans? In 2017, I attended the 68th International Aeronautical Congress, during which I was lucky enough to witness the formation of the Australian Space Agency. Admittedly, at the time I was not sure how far this agency would go in terms of scope, but time has begun to show, Australia does have big plans for space. The Australian Space Agency is based in my own hometown of Adelaide, and has published a charter with six key points for what the agency is responsible for. Firstly, to advise the national policies for the civil space sector and advising strategy. Secondly, the coordination of the Australian civil space industry. Thirdly, contributing to the growth of the sector, which is still in its infancy. Fourthly, to participate and lead in coordinating with an international civil space engagement. Fifth is to adhere to international policy and to develop legislation of our own on space matters. And finally, to nurture and inspire the Australian community on space, as well as inspiring future generations. To put it in a nutshell, the Australian Space Agency is aiming to develop both infrastructure and the machinery needed to reach space. With an overall national agency, this makes lawmaking and the development of launch technology much easier with no contradicting laws and a clear road to space for any startups or dedicated companies who are looking at launching in Australia. On top of the Australian Space Agency's charter, they also have announced the intention of placing a robotic rover on the moon. This ambitious goal was announced in 2022 to launch and land a $50 million rover on the moon. The goal of the rover would be to collect lunar regolith and extract oxygen from it. In collaboration with NASA, this would help further NASA's goals of establishing a permanent human presence on the moon. Aside from the Australian Space Agency, numerous private rocket and launch complex companies have been popping up. Starting with the launch complex companies, which are companies that have been mainly aimed at providing a rocket launch complex, there are two that have gained significant attention, Southern Launch and Equatorial Launch Australia. Southern Launch, founded in 2017, is based in South Australia, on the Eyre Peninsula, and just next door to the Nullarbor, a colossal stretch of barren land in the Australian southern regions. On top of offering two launch complexes based in Australia, their stated goals also include developing Australia's legislature for launches and launch complexes. Equatorial Launch Australia, or ELA for short, was founded in 2015 and was given a 40-year land tenure which was secured in 2017. Unlike Southern Launch, ELA operates a launch site on the northern edge of Australia called the Arnhem Space Centre. This launch complex had three launches, including a launch for NASA, with plans for further launches, it will be vital in supporting Australia's growing space industry. Among the leading rocket companies in Australia is Gilmore Space. Adam and James Gilmore, two Gold Coast brothers, founded the company on the 17th of July 2012. They flew a smaller rocket going to 5 kilometers in 2016 called Rasta and are now aiming for an orbital rocket called Eris, capable of launching 305 kilograms into orbit, putting it in the small lift class of rockets. Multiple upgrades for Eris are planned, including Eris L, which will take 450 kilograms to low Earth orbit, and Eris Block 2, which can take up to one ton into low Earth orbit. This rocket is not just a concept, however. The first flight of Eris is set for April of this year, and Eris's engines for the first and second stage, called the Sirius engine, have been tested and are fully qualified for launch. Furthermore, on top of the rocket being Australian made, Gilmore Space is also hoping to launch the rocket in Australia. According to the news website New Scientist, the company is aiming to build a rocket that can eventually carry humans to space. Gilmore Space is currently aiming to build this rocket in 2026 as an aspirational date. This stretch goal is perhaps the most ambitious goal currently in the Australian space industry and will likely remain on the horizon for the remainder of this decade, but does show how big the vision is beginning to become for the industry down under. The future for Australia in space is seeming promising, but with all the big announcements now made and preparations underway to get Australian space launch complexes, rockets and rovers out into space, the real test now begins. The test to design and build the industry to secure the nation's future. The race to space for Australia has only just begun, and in the years to follow, we're sure to see some exciting progress, both for human and robotic exploration. What are your thoughts on the Australian space industry? Leave your thoughts below, and thanks for watching.